most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. And the drama continues to unfold. At this point, fans seem to be waking up to an entirely new saga of Hollywood expose. Though this time, it seems a tad bit more interesting given it's happening between Denzel and Mel versus the Hollywood elites. That's right, here's everything you need to know. Denzel Washington and Mel Gibson have recently teamed up to expose hidden areas of the entertainment industry, earning considerable attention in the process. So what a responsibility you all have to be, to tell the truth, not just to be first, but to tell the truth. In a recent interview, Denzel Washington discussed the changes that have taken place in Hollywood, shedding light on the industry's shift from the flawless image it often portrays. He compared Hollywood to a complex puzzle with hidden pieces, which has, of course, sparked heated debate. Meanwhile, the conversation that began with Denzel Washington has now picked up momentum with Mel Gibson's participation, where these two powerful actors are teaming up to investigate the inner workings of the entertainment industry. As per their recent claims, their goal is to get to the bottom of things and verify the truth of the allegations, which include some actors considered to as child exploiters, while others are involved with Illumanti. And while all that is happening, let's not forget the gripping story of a former Homeland Security agent's fight against the bleak world of human trafficking, Sound of Freedom, which has quietly become a phenomenon. The film has made an incredible $166 million since its premiere on July 4th. And on the weekend of July 21st to 23rd, it even outsold the highly anticipated Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, moving up to third place at the box office. And even though the fact that Hollywood tends to be obsessed with blockbusters like Barbie and Oppenheimer, Sound of Freedom has managed to surprise audiences and critics alike. For those of you wondering, this film provides a showcase for Jim Caviezel, whose unique and sincere acting brought him to stardom in the early 2000s. All of Caviezel's performances, from Angel Eyes to The Count of Monte Cristo and Frequency, were well received. Even his breakthrough role as Jesus Christ in Mel Gibson's 2004 movie, The Passion of the Christ, pushed him to superstardom. Though the commercial success of The Passion of the Christ did not prevent it from being met with criticism, the film's graphic nature and its treatment of some religious issues prompted a range of responses, where after the film's success, Jim Caviezel was involved in a controversy that threatened to derail his career in Hollywood because of his strong Catholic beliefs. For that matter, the similarities to his current project, Sound of Freedom, are striking. The film's success has brought it widespread praise as well as heated debate. You see, Hollywood elites are working to hinder its progress, but the surprising position of Denzel Washington with the cause has thrown things into chaos. He is standing firm against Hollywood's attempts to crush Sound of Freedom. He is criticizing the self-proclaimed elite who promote such ideals while living lavish lifestyles and the unjust push of identity politics during award events. So even though the creation of Sound of Freedom was plagued by setbacks, it ultimately received strong support from industry heavyweights like Mel Gibson and Jim Carrey. And we need to be clear, shamelessness is not and will never be a superpower. It is the mark of a villain. Kidnapping children is not what great nations do. They have not only supported the film's narrative, but have urged people to go see it. Take a look. Go see Sound of Freedom. Also, not many people know about this, but storyboarding for this film began in 2015 and production didn't begin until 2018. Moving forward, when Disney bought out Fox, ownership of the project naturally changed hands. So is everything just a cover-up of something darker? If you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Yet speculation grew after Disney decided to shelve the picture, with some claiming that Disney had worked with satanic elitists on the project. Meanwhile, Denzel Washington also returns as the mysterious Robert McCall in The Equalizer 3, an outlaw who fights for the rights of the weak and powerless. McCall's persistent pursuit of righteousness and his fight against structural injustice are explored in the story. There is also a promise of fresh commitment to the cause of equality in this third installment, as suggested by the film's title, which is a subject central to Sound of Freedom. Additionally, across the aisle, Sound of Freedom, 
a dramatic story based on true events brings attention to the horrible phenomenon of human trafficking, where Mel Gibson's unshakable backing helps the film bring attention to a very serious problem, especially the trafficking of minors. Then again, it seems like Denzel Washington's legendary persona and the meaning of Sound of Freedom are a perfect match for one another. Both efforts shed light on the never-ending fight against injustice and the dedication of those who feel compelled to expose the world's persistent darkness. We live in America, and in America we have the freedom to express ourselves. We shouldn't take that for granted. Releasing in September, The Equalizer 3 Inches promises to deliver a powerful story about overcoming hardship and taking action, much like Mel Gibson's Sound of Freedom. You see, the importance of fairness and equality is highlighted throughout both films, which is a striking similarity. Sound of Freedom attempts to educate society on the crimes of human trafficking, encouraging collective action and compassion, just like Denzel Washington's McCall tries to do in the movies. But despite their seeming dissimilarity, the two stories are still connected by their focus on protecting the weak and fighting oppressors. On the other hand, Mel Gibson, in particular, is promoting the movie on his many social media accounts. His passionate video has prompted others to see the film, highlighting the serious problem of child trafficking as a whole, especially visible in Hollywood. Human trafficking, especially the trafficking of children, is one of the most disturbing problems in our world today, as put out by Gibson. According to him, now, education is the first step towards eliminating this criminal activity. Not to forget, Mel Gibson's passion continued after the release of the film, as he began an ambitious new project. According to recent reports, he is currently at work on a four-part documentary series that will explore the complex environment of child sex trafficking around the world, including in nations like Ukraine with popular figures on social media such as Matt Wallace, agreeing that the truth must be revealed. Meanwhile, Operation Underground Railroad creator Tim Ballard has dropped hints that Gibson would appear in the upcoming documentary series. Right now, Washington and Gibson's partnership not only poses a threat to the established order in Hollywood, but also begs a more general examination of what we refer to as the entertainment business. The teamwork they are showing is also indicative of how entertainment can function as more than just a distraction from reality. Gibson's and Denzel's united attempts to shed light on Hollywood's dark underbelly are an amazing example of the transformational power of art, serving as a timely reminder that beyond the so-called glitter and glam of Hollywood, there are tales to be told, truths to be uncovered, and that a war is right around the corner. Will Mel and Denzel be able to get to the bottom of things? Or will they be silenced like so many others who have challenged Hollywood's power brokers? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. To catch more updates, simply hit the bell icon.